we had uh, we had one case where there's a bunch of different stories that were with it, and part of it we weren't able to find an answer to, and we're really not sure what's going on with with some of it. But part of it we we're actually able to debunk, and what was actually happening is the parents had a, have a few young children, and the one boy has his own room, but every single night he'd always go to his parents' room saying he can't sleep in the room. You know, he he would see this person in the room, he'd get headaches and various other things, he didn't want to be there. So the parents called us in to investigate the house, and one of the th things we were checking for was the son's room. And sure enough, we had one investigator who was in the bedroom, and he's using a piece of equipment, and he actually happened to have a compass on him. And the reason that we gave him a compass is a compass detects magnetic fields to it, so it should just simply face north. But he's walking around this child's room, and the compass is spinning in circles. And so he called in other people to come in to check the room, and they're getting readings on anything that picks up electromagnetic fields in the, in the kid's room. And it seems a center over where his bed was. So that's the bed he always would get out of and run out every night. So everyone's saying, you know, well, what could this possibly be? If, it, if it's a ghost, I mean, it's just sitting here in one spot. So it's probably not. So what is it? So everyone starts going through his stuff and, and looking around the area to see what it could be. And they pull out this toy lightsaber that he had underneath his bed. And they stuck the compass up to it and some other equipment. The compass started spinning in circles and all the other lights were bugging out on it. It turned out, for whatever reason, this toy lightsaber gave off, gave off a high electromagnetic field, and that's what was affecting the child. Because high electromagnetic fields, and if people look it up, it's true, they have an impact on people. And people can have hallucinations, they have trouble sleeping, they get headaches, and various other effects to it, which correlate with what the child was having. So what we did was, with that, we told the parents, take his toys out of the bedroom and see how he sleeps. And we'll go from there with it with him. As soon as they took it out, he started sleeping in his bed fine every single night since then. He never had, a, had, a, never had another problem with it, and they were quite happy with that. So that, that was a good example of debunking a case.